So hello everyone and welcome back. Um, I just wanted to show y'all how I did my very first flip book. And I'm going to do this with one hand so it might be a little bit difficult. But um, before I secure this piece I wanted to show everyone um, so that I can get a video out of this. So this piece right here is just um, some of the diamond wrap that Dollar Tree had for Halloween as well as this piece here. Um, this is actually what, what it will look like whenever she gets this and opens it but aside from this piece here because I have to hot glue this down to this but to be able to do this video I'm not able to do that just yet. So anyways, this is a piece of diamond wrap that I just um, made a band out of to close this together. So it's just like this. And all I did, you guys, was just tape this because that way if she wants to use it again, she's able to do that. Um, she can just take this tape apart and this will not be harmed in any way. So then this hat here I got from... Joann's I believe I just wanted to put that on the front and then this this is actually um, some chalkboard paper that I got from I want to say Dollar General a while back and I just used this because I thought it was a fun idea and I'm going to include a piece of chalk so that she can write on it if she wants or I might even write a chalk message before it's all said and done. So anyways, once all of these things are taken off, then it opens like this. Um, and I did mine kind of like a little extra. So this here is just a f like a double-sided um, shaker card. This is Boo from, you, from Me to You. And it's like a little shaker. This thing is also a little shaker. Same thing with this one. Um, this is just a sticker on the outside and a little shaker. And this one says Got Candy with a little shaker as well. And I just put it down with some really cute Halloween washi. And then for this centerpiece, y'all can see there's some more Dollar Tree stickers. Really cute. I love the witches. And some of these stickers I got from different places. This is like a couple of layers of stuff. So this is a pumpkin, a rosette, a punch out, a sticker with lots of bling and the little googly eyes. This is just supposed to be like a whole little witch's scene. If you can see it. And then this flips down. There's nothing on that side. There's just a little scene here. And then this one flips up. Trick or treat. And then this flips. And this is another little shaker pocket here. Like two little shaker cards that I did. And then a bunch of goodies in here. I'm not going to pull all this stuff out. It's just a bunch of little goodies. Like some stuff that I repackaged myself to make look cute. A bunch of different like little stuff in here and then that flips back up and then these flip over this way so here I just did some more of that chalkboard paper um, some little cupcakes that I wanted to share These are some little tags that I made. And then this other side does the same thing. Flips open and it has some little die cuts and sequins that are some shaker pieces that I wanted to share for fall. Don't mind this mess over here. I was like dumping out trying to search for certain colors and stuff. And then here's just like, oh, another little cute shaker piece I made with this little witch inside. 
And then some goodies. So I put some gum and some little stickers for like a little treat pocket. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is my little Halloween flip book. My first flip book ever to do. I'll have to get that back in there later, it looks like. Oh, there we go. Um, but the thing is, I, this is my first time using my fuse tool, so I kind of went a little shaker pocket happy with so many different, I think I did like five, at least five different <laughs> shaker pockets in this one. But that is it, you guys. I just wanted to share that with you. It, oh, and then I also did a little wand. Which, this is actually my first little wand, and I just did this, like, cut the middle of the cupcake. I'll do a tutorial on this, like, because it's a lot easier than what they say. The way I did it made it a lot easier. Again, this is my first one, so it don't look that great. So, I try to make her, like, a little skirt out of another piece of cupcake. And, um, it didn't look that great, but I still thought it was cute, and I wanted to share it. And I just layered some more pieces on here that I cut out. And I think it, I still think it's cute even though, you know, it's not like the best cupcake wand ever or anything. <laughs> but it's still cute to me. So anyways, I hope y'all all enjoyed this video. And I hope that everybody's doing lots of holiday crafting. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Bye.